He is Al Mustafa, the chosen one, the beloved, who revealed to me to be loved, to embody hope, to spread positivity, and to always smile. Depicted in his traditions where every single time I had lost my way, I envisioned to walk in his footsteps and I was found. He is the crest of nobility, the diadem of creation, but his sandal is my crown. He is that very light that engulfs my abyss until I am drowned and only then I could finally breathe. And with that first gasp of breath, I bear witness that he is the witness with that radiant smile that casts a shadow upon the sun, who call back the sun, the rising sun of majestic secrets, the luminous lamp brighter than the moon, more beautiful than the moon, the one who split the moon in two but reattached my broken heart, the one who I yearn to be with and never be apart, the one whose name sparks truth and silences every uncertainty within my soul, the reason why I am a cartographer within these words that each degree my pen turns, I am guided back to the epitome of actuality. He is the primordial prophet, the one who will praise the most compassionate like no other on the day of promise. My heart has formed a cave of hope and I yearn to be proximate to the first of the two because he is my master, the upholder of righteousness, the walking 30 chapters, the one who ascended Pastalot, Abu Qasim, Taha and Yasin. See, he is the best of mankind. My glory is reciting his praise, but being of his community is my pride. So I take pride and prominence that is my prophet who answer the call of the most merciful and fulfill that covenant. And I swear an oath, he is the precious ruby of pre-eternity, the magnificent emerald of existence and the sovereign diamond of everlasting life the only treasure I require in my chest. Yes, I am led by the leader of God-conscious folk and prophetic cavalry. With axiomatic attributes crafted by the absolute, I require no proof he is a sardical amin, the extinguisher of lies. Understand that his standard is the standard, so my stance is overstanding with standing ovations in benedictions and salutations. His name literally translated as the most praised. Not because of our salawat, but because he is praised by Allah ar Rahman himself. He is not like us. Described as a man, the man. Please don't misunderstand. You cannot compare diamonds to stones or rocks. When it was stones in his noble palm declare he is the prophet of God. He is the one who tied stones across his stomach. He is the one who struck the stone at conduct, prophesizing victory. He is the one who toppled and vanquished stone idols, pointed with Quranic litany. And with his brilliancy, he positioned and placed in the black stone. But he is the one who converted our stone hearts into hearts of gold. We shimmer and shine because our prophet, he is nur, radiating, illuminating, his light expels darkness, terror and despair. He is the prophet of joy, hope, elation and care. Look at the aura of those who are connected to him and see how happy and joyous they are. This is the affair of such love. That even with his greatness and magnificence, he greatly magnifies even the most inferior ummati. But I speak for me. When he is the city of generosity, what can I give him? When he is a city of knowledge, even in this poetry, what do I know about him? When he is the city of bravery, I only hope I have the courage to recite these words to him. When he is the axis of the universe and I only have a verse. When he is absolute virtue of character and I only have these words. Look, I could continue with such juxtaposition, but it's not about how lowly I am. It's all about how great he is. He is Rahmatul Lil Alameen, Muhammad Al Mahi, Khatam Al Nabuwa, Habib Allah. He is Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sorry. It's not how lowly I am. It's how great he is. This is how, this is what true humility is. And how you stop humility becoming self-abasement. Just thinking about how terrible you are and how worthless you are and all that kind of stuff. Don't look at how low you are. Look at how great he is. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam.